Yo, what's going on YouTube? Make sure where you click right here and set your notifications to see my latest uploads. Without further ado, let's get started. What we're going to talk about today is how to find the easiest lobbies you can, aka noob lobbies. Now keep in mind, you're not going to get them all the time. You're going to have to lobby surf and I know people are going to frown upon that and maybe dislike the video because of what I just said. But you know what? I play this game to have fun. I don't play to, to play against people that are just... 100% try hard you know that's kind of a broad term because everybody tries hard unless it's some of the guys that you know sit in the back but what I'm really talking about is like full parties or even two or three man parties where you play up against guys with two three four KDs you know to me that's that's just not fun but um, you know ever since the Korean Savage I'm sure a lot of you guys know who he is he's the number one leaderboard as far as hardcore team deathmatch but ever since he mentioned about finding those lobbies, I've noticed the lobbies have gotten harder and harder. And to me, it feels like the connection has gotten worse. So, what do I think is the best way to find easy lobbies? I think it's this game mode here. Hardcore kill confirmed. I have ran into a couple sweaty lobbies, but there's been a lot less than in Team Deathmatch. So, let me know if you guys play that or do you just play team deathmatch search and destroy or domination hardcore I'm, I love hardcore but I get so mad at it sometimes because it's like I shoot straight through people I actually put something on my Twitter today sent a clip to Activision where I just shot through a guy he was sprinting and I put probably four or five bullets in him and I'll, he raised his weapon and killed me and you know it's stuff like that that really gives it a bad vibe and makes me not want to play this game at all I took a few days off because of the just the aggravation, you know, and there's people I do play with and one of them kind of told me, you know, why don't you join up with the team and stuff and, you know, that that's fine and dandy, but, you know, it's not, it's not, the team's not going to help me get better, you know, it's the connection. I just, I'm tired of fighting it, so I'm almost done with Infinite Warfare. If it doesn't get any better, I'm fixing to go back to work in a couple days anyway, so I need a, a much a much needed break away from gaming, you know, for a couple weeks. I got a few videos I'm working on to edit, that way I can at least spread them out over the two weeks I'm going to give you guys something to watch. And they are Infinite Warfare videos. I might play some Black Ops 2 tomorrow, I was thinking. If so, let me know in the comments section what weapons are best in Black Ops 2. Like I said before guys, I haven't I did not start playing Call of Duty until Advanced Warfare. And I have played Black Ops 2 a little bit and I really like it. You know it's fun but I'm just waiting uh, for it to be at backwards compatible on Xbox One so I can use my Elite controller to play it. So it give this game mode a try and if it works out for you come back to the video and let me know in the comments or send me a message or, or something that way I'll know it helped you guys find those bobbies. So I hope you enjoy the video. Make sure you give it a thumbs up. And I, I want to do I'm gonna do some better video editing and stuff. It's just I've been pressed for time. I've got a lot going on. YouTube is not my life. It's my pastime, I guess you could say. So one more time, again, if you enjoy the video or if it works out for you, give it a thumbs up. If you hadn't already subscribed, please do so. I appreciate any support I can get. From you guys and as always man I'm out peace and chicken grease